Well, another outstanding program of racing at Club Angle on Saturday night, featuring night events and kicking off the specials in the third without Orlando. Back from a city in New Zealand where he finished seventh behind Self Assured in the slots. His form prior was outstanding at Orlando. He is the class runner of the field, although it is a very strong field he will be opposed to. He has drawn the outside gate, but I think he will be winning. So that's my first of the specials, out of Orlando. Moving over to race five, Armour Renegade was disappointing here last week. Finished six, beaten 35.8 metres. The form prior to that was outstanding. She won three on end in fine fashion. I think she'll bounce back to her best form, Armour Renegade. Luke McCarthy once again takes the drive. Over to race seven, and I'm keen here on Pearl Harbour, despite the fact that the mare has drawn the outside gate in the field of nine. She did score eight starts back, and amazingly, she has been placed in each of her past seven starts. A very honest performer. She's always in the finish. She doesn't get beaten far. Last time out, finished third behind the Honey Queen. That was a very solid performance for a race of this nature. So Pearl Harbour, certainly one of the better bets on the card in race seven. Going over to race eight on the card, and number 10, Lurum Lake, I thought was a good bet in this particular field. You go back to December, he went around in the Inter-Dominion series, backed up in the Consolation, although well beaten on that particular occasion. He's had two runs back from a spell, forget the first run, he got TKO'd in the early stages, tailed out to finish a distant last. But last week he caught the eye with a flashing third, working home to the line very strongly over the concluding stages. He drops in grade and Lurum Lake, now that he's had those two runs under his belt, I think we'll be certainly right in the finish this time around, as I mentioned. I think he's one of the better bets on the card for Wes Komorowski, the driver, and also Kevin Bazuto, the trainer. Now looking at the 10 events at Melton on Saturday night, kicking off the first of the specials in race through, number five, Lock and Var Jag. Disappointing last time out, but I think he can bounce back to winning form. Over at race five, and Jillaby Nitro, a very honest performer. You'll know you'll get a bold showing for your money as far as Jillaby Nitro is concerned. But we go over to race nine, number six, Amore Vita, back from a spell, but she's in a very suitable race, Amore Vita, a very strong performer for Nathan Purden. I think she can certainly get away with race nine on the card. So my thoughts for both the Club and Angle meeting and Milton on Saturday night. Until next time around, good punning.